Gate it. Gate Jesus. Katie, move, honey. Jesus. Mm. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Hey y'all, what's up? Um, one person in the building, no thumbs up. It don't matter, y'all. I just come on here for a little while. I think I'm gonna make this probably um my apartment. So y'all forgive me. Let me be presentable. I was on a few minutes ago. Y'all know I was just gibbering, jabbering. Man, my head's in a braid, y'all. Braid up, twisting his up in a ponytail, but um. Had moose on it, trying to let it dry because I have a very important appointment tomorrow. And I have heartburns, y'all. Here in North Carolina right now, I think it's a whopping 84 degrees. Very humid. And Lord knows I need a permit his neck and stuff, but I'm not going to complain. Oh, I am not going to complain about anything because if I did, it wouldn't do no good anyway, would it? <laughs> My only problem right now, I'm just a little warm. Katie is doing fine. Y'all been up three days with the pup. She's finally asleep, and uh, I guess I'm dozing off too. 
Today has been an awesome day, y'all. A wonderful Sunday. In spite of God is good all the time. Y'all probably caught me sleeping. I'm sorry about that. Well, I guess I'm not because when you're tired, you need to get some rest. And I'm trying to do three things at one time, be multitasking, and it's doing good. Katie doing fine. I'm doing fine. Um, I'm sorry, guys, to tell you guys something. She's Myers or Cheesy and I are not together anymore. And uh, But, you know, it's okay. I didn't come on here to give you boo-hoos, just me. Me and me. Some of y'all know Miss Carolina Diamond. A lot of you know Miss Stacy Little. Some of you guys know me NC Diamond, Double Diamond, Diamond, whatever you guys call me nowadays. But I am Stacy Little. No other than myself, Stacy Lee Little, to be precise. I don't have anything to talk about, guys, because you probably got me sleeping. But, uh, Right now, I know I need I need watch time hours. I do. I'm losing subscribers because of two things that's going on: purging of Google or people just getting tired of looking at my ass. But hey, you know I'm not going nowhere. Um, I mean, really, it is what it is. It's gonna do what it do. When it comes to numbers and statistics, I'm not concerned about that. You know, it it is what it is. And guys, YouTube is not a fucking robot. Okay. You got extra people out there who is on YouTube. Maybe still getting to it or y'all feel like this algorithm thing going on. It's no fucking algorithm. Well, it is algorithm. But, I mean, YouTube platform is what you do with it. I got a lot of, about seven, eight emails ask me crazy questions. How do you get to watch time hours? If I do this, will I get more watch time hours? Can you pay my playlist and do all these things? Look. Why would you be part of an organization and you can't be a, a guru by reading the community guidelines and policies? Read it, y'all. It's out there. Even though technology changes every six months, trust me, y'all. YouTube don't change that fast. Just the same guidelines. YouTube ain't nothing but a trial and basis error. When you go to places like Twitter and Facebook, they already set in stone. YouTube ain't trying to go to court like Facebook, you know what I'm saying? The owner, that's all I'm going to say about that. But anyway, y'all, look, copyright strikes, it is what it is. If you get a copyright strike, guys, I've mean, had so many of those motherfuckers. You know, copyright strikes, copyright strikes and content idea are two different things. You can play music all day, but for some reason, people like to sit there and report your channel. The reason why I say that, you can have the best intention in the world, right? And I call it a, a troll. I mean, troll is a troll. Something's on the bridge. But when it comes to people hate raging on your channel, you can be best friend with Jim Bob. And just because you're not down with Jim Bob, Jim Bob will tell Bob that your channel sucks and have his friend or pay his friend to give your channel strike. Now, is that right? Y'all know it's not right. Anybody can come and report you and say anything, but it's just up to a real person to judge that shit on YouTube. Of course, I will tell you one thing, y'all. Yeah, it is uh, computerized the first two times, but when you actually take that email that Twitter gives you, to, uh, not Twitter, excuse me, that YouTube tell you to contact them with, it actually works, guys, because somebody tried to get me channel struck the other day. It was fucking crazy to say, oh, y'all, mad, dumb, stupid. This stupid motherfucker Gonna sit there and say, I'm racist. <laughs> Swear to God, gonna tell YouTube I say racist slurs and this, this, and that, and that, and that. So they said, Well, guess what? We're gonna shut your shit down because you got racism. <laughs> no. <laughs> and I was like, What? So I had to go back and think about all the live streams I ever done. And I know damn well I've never been racist to anything, none of that. So I did a counter strike and said, "Look, racist," and I showed my picture and all that. Y'all know they had my damn channel struck back up and running within twenty-five. No, I take it back, two hours. And that was that. YouTube is not, in other words, 
Digital receipts, I don't care what you got to do to get your channel back. You got to do something very, very stupid to lose your channel. But don't let YouTube push you around either. If you know you didn't do something wrong, say it. Tell them. And I'm telling you right now, you go up in the community guidelines, then you go up on the community strikes. If you do a counter, first you can appeal one. They reject it. That's when you do a counter strike. Counter strike, guys, put all your details in. Tell them everything. If you got content that is questionable, take it down before you've seen this thing because they're going to look at your channel. If they don't see nothing in your channel within the first 30 seconds of that video, it comes down. I mean, that's if you did anything wrong. Now, like I said, keep in mind, somebody said I was racist. Do I look racist to you? No, I'm not. If you're wrong, you're wrong. If you're right, you're right. But with me, please read the community guidelines, guys. It's very easy to get rid of a community strike. You just got to know who to write to. And please believe me, y'all, there's somebody in YouTube you can talk to. It tells you the community guidelines. The community page. Jesus, just read YouTube before you start your channel. You see all those things. And some of y'all paying $60, 70 for all these little softwares that tell you uh, what you're doing and how you're doing it and who you're doing it to and how many times you can publish certain many videos and get keep pumping them freaking videos, y'all. Keep pumping and pumping them. And YouTube, come on, y'all. Y'all small tubers got to help us other small tubers be something great. YouTube gives you a platform to do what you want to do, but please, to be a part of any organization, go by what they're saying. You know, couple, if you got uh, children content, make a children. I mean, if you feel like you're going to cuss or whatever, just like most adults do, it's not the kids in your cover. But, you know, sometimes I feel like doing childish things with my grandkids. I'm going to make that children. But when I'm like 2, 3 o'clock in the morning, I know all the kids should be in the bed. And that's when I make mine not for kids. I should be in the bed myself. Y'all see Katie? She's already there. Yeah, she's getting really big, y'all. And the reason why I'm up, y'all, I'm just broken. Y'all know that. Uh, I'll get a little sleep. sleepy here. Yeah. Yeah, y'all see a little single little ring that I bought myself. Never to ever get engaged or married to nobody. <laughs> no, I don't mean it like that, y'all. But uh, I guess I had to uh, call a relationship 11. I'm going on 12 years off because one, you've been with somebody for so long, and then, you know, they do a lot of things to you, and then things get better. And as you get stronger from the last bullshit they took you through, you just realize you don't need the shit no more. So that's what's going on me at Cheese Myers. I got one person watching, no thumbs up, been on it about 15 minutes, and that's cool with me. I'm trying to go to sleep, y'all. And yes, I got my hair done. Yeah, it's in a ponytail, and Katie's doing all right. There she go. And there is no TV. Yep. Y'all, I had to take a minute from YouTube. I had to take a minute, just period. Um, Happy belated Memorial Day to some of you guys. And, yeah, thank you guys for all the shout-outs. Memorial Day. Memorial Day is a great day. It is for all on forces, past, present, yeah. And I'm one of those members of the service members. But on forces, it's for people that's died. You guys, you know, that service gave the ultimate sacrifice. Now, I don't know how you guys look at it, but me being a real service member, I'm going to tell you something. And one of the people that we lost, and we in the military could not do what we do. So I salute all my brothers in arms, past and present. You know, the ones, I mean, Memorial Day is supposed to be saluting people that's already gone, you know. Without the people that's already gone, they made a way for us. If it weren't for them, we wouldn't be here. So I salute anybody who has have a family member in the military and lost them, you know, whether God is now or yesterday or ever, because Memorial Day is for people that serve military and serve us proudly and defend it with the ultimate sacrifice. So 
think of all the shout outs or on forces day or Memorial day, but I salute the ones that we lost past the present. You know, I salute all military. You guys know I'm retired. So I mentioned myself, but Memorial day is for people that we lost. And uh, I thank you guys for telling me, well, thank you Stacey, for your service. I appreciate you guys. I'm up y'all because I'm lonely. Just broke up with a boyfriend. We've been, y'all know we've been together 11 years, but sometimes you gotta outgrow situations that you know that God don't want you to have. God don't mean for you to chase anything that He didn't give to you. And I refuse to chase either a man who's cheating on me. Really, y'all. Um, I'm not trying to get on and complain about anything because God is good all the time. I'm just lonely, y'all. I'm just lonely. Yeah, me and Cheese, we've been broke up. We've been broke up now about I don't know how can I say this about long enough for me to know that I don't need his bullshit. <laughs> well, I got three people watching me. At first, I didn't have nobody, and somebody give me a thumbs up. Thank you guys so much. And I know I look a hot mess, y'all, because I'm trying to go to sleep. And I got an eight on my midterm. Yay, a. Hey. What's going on that back your life? How you doing, honey? Oh, prayers going out to you and much love to you as well. How's your Sunday or early morning morning going? Thank you so much. So what's been going on with the abandoned boys? I well. What's been going on over there? Yeah, I know I haven't been over there in about a week. But I had to take some time out, you know, spend time with the grandkids, put my life in perspective. Oh, you just listen. You hear me rambling? Because <laughs> you know how it is to talk to a camera. Ain't nobody on the other side. I'm glad I'm not talking to myself, right? I was just trying to put, you know, everything in perspective about what I've been through within the last... 60 days, God don't put no more than what we can bear. But don't kill us, make us stronger, right? But I'm glad I got somebody to talk to. Yeah, of course, seems cool. I haven't seen him, but I'm sure he is. I've watched some of his playbacks. Um, I think the last thing I've seen is he did some type of, a, of an exploration or something. But, honey, I've been so busy with school. Now I'm done with school. But uh, you guys know I lost two puppies. Uh, I lost Soldier. Yeah, Pablo, and of course, oh my God, having the case she got hit by a drunk driver. Let me get him look presentable, honey. Yeah, I, um, I'm heartbroken, but not broken. But it's okay, though. See, she knocked out. Let me put some light on it. You see her? <laughs> Yeah, but anyway, I got three people here and one thumbs up. Thank you, guys. I've been on here now with 20 minutes. <laughs> yeah, sorry for the loss. Yeah, I know, man. I mean, you know, it, it's life cycle. I mean, I love dogs so much. I really do. And anytime, I'm going to stop while I start crying. My eyes are itching, y'all, because I had a eye surgery done. I don't have to wear glasses anymore, so that's a cool thing. And I should take this mess off my head, my headband, to keep my hair from, you know, how we ladies like to tie our hair up and hair scars. But, you no, know, this is me. You know, it's what, I think it's about, oh, my God, is it 3 o'clock in the morning? It can't be 3 o'clock in the morning. Somebody tell me my eyes are deceiving me. Is it three? It's three o'clock in the morning. Wow. Oh my God. I swear. I shouldn't say that. I affirm I thought it was 12 o'clock. <laughs> well. Sorry, y'all. I was sitting on the remote to the TV. I, I didn't know it was that late. So, uh, backyard. 
Oh, did you? Excuse me, honey. I'm so sorry. I need to be taking these rollades. But uh, don't you game or something? Do you game? Do you have a gaming channel? Well, honey, thank you for um, your condolences. And yeah, I'm getting through it. But God, I'm putting no more in this weekend, bear. You know, weeping may endure for one night, but joy comes in the morning. I will tell you that. Yeah, I did lost two puppets, but thank God I still got Katie. You know, I, I thank God for her because um, she's been through it more than I have. She lost a brother and sister. I lost two pets. So she was in depression, but now she's doing good. <coughs> At first, I thought she may have Pablo like soldier, but they dewormed her and gave her all her shots. She's doing all right. She's resting. That's why I'm up. I have five. Two. You got ooh, chihuahuas. Oh, they want to play. I know you garden, babe, but I was, I don't know, for some reason, I don't know why I thought you were game. I guess maybe Honey Game was talking about you and, uh, you know, and I just thought maybe you had a gaming channel, but I know you do, um, that you <clears throat> do landscaping and all that. You know, I checked out your channel, and you know, I love you for sure, because there's a lot I need to learn too about gardening, because you know what? I put six, I know for sure tomato plants in the seeds back in April. Ain't none of them come up yet. But see, my silly butt should have known me being the country city girl that I am. I put them by a doggone pine tree. You don't never put no plants by no pine tree because the roots is going to take them seeds. I wouldn't think it because I'm down in the dirty south. I, they are my hearts. I know that's right, honey. You see my heart right there. Can you see her skating? She's a bitter pup. You know, when uh, <laughs> she's a bitter pup, that's mean when she um, she's dark and, you know, a bitter pup. How can I explain it? Not a bitter pup. Dad, how do you say it? Lord Jesus, my Spanish is better than my English. But it's when the mom and dog, the mom dog and the dad dog, Get together. One has an MM. How do you say that right? Oh my God. When their dog dogs have this thing called not Jesus got something to do. I don't know how to explain it. But she has, she looks like a hyena in Africa. And that's because she's a biddle dog. That means she has her, her dominant. Well, let me just hush. She, she, she's a biddle pup. A biddle pup is when. The mom dog and the dad dog has the same coat, but she comes out in a different color because of the not melatonin in her skin, but I don't know. Yeah, but thank you, honey. I love her. I love her. And then I got Mr. Beagle. Um a couple of my pups outside because I'm not just a I'm just watching. I'm sorry, y'all. She was just <laughs> dreaming like she's catching rabbits or something. I'm a breeder as well as a um, service dog trainer. Well, I used to be a service dog trainer. I'm not that anymore. Now I'm just a, a woman that loves pups. And I do um, a little bit of breeding, KFC breeding. Thank you, Backyard. I really appreciate that. Becky, I did not know it was 3 o'clock in the morning, honey. Five people watching, two thumbs up. That's what's up. Man, people that can't sleep must be up like me. I can sleep, y'all. I just, I'm just heartbroken. I'm lonely. Well, I'm lying. Well, I am a little heartbroken because you guys know that I am getting over a 12-year relationship that I should never got in, you know, but I think it's best to love and not love at all. You know, it's always a learning factor about God don't put us more than we can bear, but we need to learn something. I had to let this individual go, and I'm doing all right, but it gets times like when you want to lay down and you know, stuff all good and been at church, did everything you got to do, accomplish everything, but time you lay that head on your pillow, they'll be like, man, 
Where the boy hit? We need somebody to cuddle up. No, I don't. I need to make sure my pup is all right. But hey, I'm gonna say I've been. I need. I need a friend, somebody who love me for me. How about that? I got a snowball Snickers blaze sprinkles. Oh, you bad. Now why you gonna go and do that when I'm supposed to be on a diet? <laughs> I'm gonna tell you what I got in the refrigerator. I got me a homemade red velvet cake that I made last night. And if I go up in there, man, I tell you, honey, I might as well get to walk right now. That cake was so good. Mm. I, and I didn't after as soon as I ate the cake this morning, I went on a five mile Pedicton. You know how you get on the Pedicton machines go like you're roaring up, you like you're mountain climbing. I did that, honey. And I'm sore. But in the morning, I'm gonna tell you what my breakfast is gonna be. I'm gonna cook me three boiled eggs, right? I'm gonna get her with the egg yolk, and I'm gonna have me a bunch of grapes. I'm gonna eat those, drink a bottle of water, and I'm going for a five mile run. Oh, honey, I've been on a diet, but I'm telling you right now, it's like not a diet, but a seafood. Everything I see, I want to eat. I'm telling you, you know, even though we've been through the epidemic, and now here in North Carolina, when you all got all both of your COVID 19 shots, you can get out there and go anywhere. Guess what? I've been out there going anywhere, eating at pizza places, and just eating. And my favorite thing in the world, Captain Dude's, y'all. Mm, that butterfish do something to me. For the last four days, I've been eating up in there, eating my ass off. You hear me? <laughs> oh, my God. You got me laughing up in here. Thank you for coming on. And uh, hold on, back, yo, I want to do something. I need you to be a moderator. Hold on. I've been trying to get you up in here for a while, honey. And this chat is moving so fast because I'm little. I don't know what that is, but you know what? Right about now. Wow, racism. What's racism? Let me tell you something. Backyard, I need you right now. I need me a moderator, moderator. And guess what? You got it, baby. Backyard, if you see anything fishing here, don't let me act up in your earth. <laughs> oh, just playing. I can backyard is now a moderator. If you see anything that's not good for this chat, kick it out because I don't want to cuss nobody out. Because you know I will. But you know, I, I don't want to cuss anybody out. But if you up in this chat trying to sit here and raid it, honey, <laughs> dabbing on these trolls, y'all want me to cuss somebody out tonight. Y'all don't want me to cuss nobody out, honey. Now, I'm going to give y'all five seconds who just came up in here acting stupid. You got one minute to excuse yourself. And if you don't, I'm going to have backyard just to block you. I ain't got to cuss, honey. That's one way to skin a cat. I always be a freaking later. Now, getting back to the comments, Lord. Hey, everybody. I got 13 people watching my little butt tonight. Oh, my God. Really? I'm getting a little cute, y'all. Normally, <laughs> wait a minute. Y'all moving too fast, little sister. All right. Oh, my God. I'm going to need some glasses and turn it on the lights, y'all. I did not know. Chat moving fast, y'all. 20 people, two people in the building. Reporting channel for racist comments. You're done, bud. What in the world? Do I look like a but? See, those are trolls, y'all. Y'all see all that troll stuff going on? Say so. I think I know who is doing this. Who's doing that, honey? I'm going to go back and look at the chat. Honey, when you got people like that, you know how the best way to get to them? Ignore them. Y'all already know. I'm a master moderator. Ku Klux Klan raid. <laughs> honey, you better get up early in the morning to come with some bullshit like that. Now, I'm going to tell you something. I don't like racism in my chats, and I don't like anybody disrespecting anybody. If you Ku Klux Klan, honey, I have God 
pray for y'all because and you know what? I plead the blood of Jesus. You got to treat folk like you want to be treated. Now, I don't know what's going on here, but I tell you one thing. YouTube see all this. I ain't got to do anything because somebody going to report what's going on. Y'all see all that crazy mess going on, but it's cool. A view is a view. I don't know what's going on, but you know what? My heart don't pump no fucking Kool-Aid. With that being said, Ku Klux Klan ain't right. Let me tell you something, Oswald Mosley. You be careful what the hell you doing, Ryan, because you talking to a real sister. Now, Ku Klux Ryan, I'm got three words for you. Get the hell out of here. You don't scare me in my damn, I don't hide behind no sheets. Now, with that racism shit, you better excuse your goddamn self because I'm a retired command sergeant major U.S. Army. Now, all this shit going on right now, I don't need no troll to say what I had to say. No racism allowed is here. And you Ku Klux Klans, guess what? I have, pray to God, he have a special place in you is called hell. Ain't no racism here, baby. Freedom of speech is endorsed, but I promise you this. Do not come up in here with that racism bullshit. Excuse yourself. Now, moderators or whoever in here, y'all, it's an adult channel. If y'all feel like y'all being plagued by some trolls or whatever, you got the right to say whatever you want to say. That's that. 19 people, five thumbs up. Y'all, let's look at how dumb these trolls really are. Don't say anything. Because I'm going to tell you right now, Satan come to kill, steal, and destroy. All you got to do is ignore the enemy and it will flee itself. Reported channel for harvesting and and thank you backyard thank you now oh wow i got 20 people in the building five thumbs up wow that's gonna be some great watch time backyard i'll be right back i gotta make some call a couple people like Miss Wonderful and all them other people because I want to let them see. I think I know who it is too who's doing all this. But let me call my friend Nick Ninema of YouTube. Be right back.
Hey, y'all, I'm back. I had a little bit of heartburn. I'm trying to make a couple phone calls, but thank you so much to my um, outstanding moderator. I love you so much. That backyard, boy, I tell you, just save the day. You know, like I said, you know, people get on and act real stupid. I don't understand what's up with these trolls, but honey, y'all walking with the wrong tree right about now because we don't play that. I don't know why y'all want to get up here and show how childish you really are, but we don't need that, y'all. All the things going on in the world today, we're just getting over epidemic. People losing people every day, and you want to sit here and bring drum to somebody's YouTube channel. Come on, man. We don't need that hateration in here. So please, y'all, y'all just go on that childish bullshit. Thank you, backyard. Thank you so much. And I promise you, I owe you. I'll be your moderator, whatever you need me to be. But thank you. Thank you so much. Somebody uh, said earlier, they know who it is. I don't know what it is, but thank you. I love you too, baby. I love you so much. Coming from the heart, much love. You know what? And you are the, if I had to put a picture beside a perfect moderator, that backyard life, that's it right though. Thank you so much, honey. I don't need, you know, I could be cussing, but out of all the things I've been through, I thank God that I'm still here. You know, I don't want to cuss anybody, but I will if I have to. But I, I thought, God, is, oh my God, God is so good all the time. He is truly, truly, truly wonderful. There is not one word that I could describe how good he is. And when you got good people sent by God, like that backyard, peace be still. I mean, really. If God's with you, could be against you. Them trolls, they come. They want to be seen. Think they're going to shit somebody down, somebody running. First of all, I ain't running from a motherfucking thing. And yes, I'll cuss if I have to. Because that is just really dumb what has just happened. And you know what? I remember one time I was live streaming some idiot going to pull his pants down and moon everybody. Thank God that's not here. Screen recorded. We got it. I know that's right, honey. But you know what? Thank you so much, Backyard, because all the editing and booting people out and timing people out. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. So, Backyard, what you up to tonight? Are you just chilling? Are you getting ready to go to work? Are you just trying to relax? Or are you just up like me? I have the worst case of heartburns ever. And the reason why I say that, you know, sometimes we got to be aware of what we put in our bodies. I went to Captain D's the night, honey, and I, ooh, had me four big old pieces of fish. Oh, my God, it was so good. But I should have made a better choice like the baked fish, but I don't know. That Captain D's fish, that butter battered, I just I just got to, I just love it. All I want is the fish. And, y'all, I wouldn't normally have my lights on and, you know, and just look at you, but. I'm trying to look out for the pup, you know, my, my pup, because she's been doing some stuff. We lost two pups, and uh, she's taking them, but she's she's doing great, y'all. I mean, um, we all go through things, just, you know, but God, I'm putting no more on us that we can bear. But I love Katie, and um, she lost her brother and sister, but she's still here. She's now six months old, y'all. She's getting big. Love you, sis. I know I love you, too, uh, that backyard. And then... Message deleted that. Okay. Thank you. And uh Mega? I ain't even trying to go there. If backyard deleted you, then you should have got deleted. I know my dog on email box is gonna be flooded. Why you blocked me? You should never got blocked. Yeah, you should have because you know what backyard blocked you, you should get blocked. I don't know why y'all want to show up and show out. Let's not do that here, y'all. We're supposed to be adults. And obviously, if you acting like all them trolls just came up in here, you need to go check yourself because you got issues. And don't nobody need to have no lunatic ways like you guys come up in somebody's channel and trying to show your ass. And if y'all really want us to act up, y'all don't want that, please. Donna Shaw died. Stay Donna Shaw died, says, did you know her? A country singer? No, who is Donna Shaw, darling? I'm sorry that she died. 
I love country music, but I don't know who Donna Shaw is. Y'all yeah, from North Carolina, y'all know I love country music. My favorite group of all time, but this country is Alabama. Yeah. But I don't know who Donna Shaw is. Movie buff. I don't. But I pray for um, strength to her family. Oh, she knew Wagon. And she, oh, she knew Wagon and Carolyn. Who's Wagon and Carolyn? Carolyn's from North Carolina. Who is Carolyn? There's a lot of Carolyn's in this world. Movie buff. Carolyn is from North Carolina. I know a couple Carol. I wonder where I first met you, Stacy. Where did you first meet me? Movie buff. Did you have a different name when when I subbed? Now, let's not dox anyone, uh, movie buff. But honey, you can say whatever's on your mind because you know I'm gonna keep it one hundred with you. You know, I've been a lot of, I mean, there's a whole lot of YouTubers, yeah. And there's a lot of Carolyn's in North Carolina. And I got a couple friends named Carolyn from being in the Army. So, movie buff, you know me from somewhere, then you should know me. Let me stick with you because I'm going to keep it 1,000 with you, baby. If you know me, then you know one thing, I'm going to keep it 1,000. So, if you got anything to ask me, you're welcome to ask me because we all are up in here. Movie buff, I heard of her. Kelly to be free. Oh, girl, honey. No, you didn't. I love that girl. But it was a misunderstanding going on. Yeah, I love I love her sunrise. She's this place called Yanceville. Yeah, I love Kelly to be free. I miss her. But you know, we had some kind of uh, a hiccup going on because um I like uh, this individual, but this individual started talking junk about me. And Carolyn never did anything. She just got caught up in the mix. And, and oh, God, Miss Huff, I love her. I love Carolyn to be free. But this person was talking junk about me when I was just trying to be friends with them. Yeah. And you know what? Tomorrow morning, I need to go visit Carolyn to be free. She's my friend. She is. I haven't seen a good sunrise since we last saw Man, so much misunderstandings behind the situation. But I'm going to go talk to her tomorrow. I love Carolyn to be free. I love her. A misunderstanding happened about Mama Ricky. That's all I'm going to say about that. But you know what? Carolyn to be free, she's the sweetest person in the world. Yes, yeah, she did. Yes, yeah, she did. But well, you know why I love Carolyn to be free, honey? She got them nice little videos. She get up in the morning talking about Yan Seville, you know, and I love her, man. She's good people. I have nothing negative to say about her. If anything, I'm gonna tell y'all something. She's been my own, she's been one of the best friends on YouTube. But something did happen way back, and I need to apologize for her, guys. I'm not, I mean, that's between me and her, and I need to tell her how much I care for her. Right, it shows her bargains. Yeah, and do you remember them little gongs she got? Yeah, she makes every day beautiful, y'all. Yeah, I'm gonna tell you something about this Carolyn to be free. Carolyn is so sweet. She's from this little place called Yanceville. That's all I'm gonna say about that. I don't want to dox her, but she gets up early in the morning. She thanks God for whatever she got. She don't never show her face unless she want to. I don't know. I've never seen her do that. But she get on there, y'all. Move above can tell you. She get on there and she show her gums and all that. And she's so sweet. I love her. But I got three people to build the five thumbs up, y'all. But y'all need to go check her out. Kelly to be free. She do sunrises in the morning. She does. Oh, yeah, movie buff. Movie buff. But it seemed like to me you like you had another name or something. But I remember. I remember. But I love Carolyn to be free. She's a good person. Right? And shows her bargains. Yeah, she does. But you know what? I remember the time when she was, I don't know where she was going to see her daughter or something like that. 
and it, uh, one of her friends was having this party and she decided she was going to go over there and she said no i'm not going to go over but she ended up going and she was nervous about it but she's not the type of person like to be around a lot of people and i don't blame her you know and i love her so much wow well she calls me john sometimes john wait a minute carolina hill my friend carolina hill billy movie buff carolina hill billy Carolyn to be free she calls me john sometimes john well, I don't know, movie buff, what your name is, honey. But I thought you had went by another name. But anyway, um, that backyard life. It's two of us and six thumbs up. We ain't doing too bad for less than an hour. <laughs> really. I wasn't planning on getting hit like that. But we overcame. We all doubted. it. Movie buff, you know, I want to give you a wrench because I don't, I, I know who, you, who you're talking about. But I think you had a different name. But she calls me John. John. John Guyte Guy. Well, no, that's James Guyte Guy. John? Movie Buff, I'm trying to remember. Give me some more clues, honey. Movie Buff, yeah, has your name always been Movie Buff? Yeah, I know you rent, you rent for Carolyn. Well, I wish for Carolyn, too. I did. Okay. Movie Buff, your name has always been... If your name has always been Movie Buff on there? Exactly for Facebook. It's my real name on Facebook. Movie Buff? What, Movie Buff, are you and I friends on Facebook? Yeah, I'm sorry. I got all these hairpins in my um braid. <laughs> I was going like wildfire, so instead of me brushing it out, I just put it in the one uh, French braid and just twist it around and put hairpins in it. From way back. No, I don't have your Facebook. I know, I know. Movie buff, I'm just trying to remember you from um from Carolyn's channel. I'm just trying to remember you, period. But honey, you know what? If you don't want you gotta say your real name on here, but if you want to. You can reach out to me at Stacy Roberson27 at gmail.com. But movie book, don't you have your own channel? If you can drop your link, that'd be cool. I don't have Facebook. Well, I have Facebook and it's Stacy Little. You guys are welcome to uh reach me there. Just look at my banner. You got my Twitter, all that stuff. Yes, but I don't do much on it. Oh, okay. Well, thank you for dropping by the movie buff. Yeah, me and, you know, backyard, we appreciate good people like you, you know what I'm saying? Come up in here and we could talk like adults or whatever. No hateration here. Nothing but love from God. Man, I've been on here 54 minutes. I cannot believe it's 4 o'clock in the morning. I had did my homework, y'all, and I went to church and, you know, came home and did the small little things. And I went to sleep about six, woke up about, probably, I tried to get a lot. I think I tried to go live a couple times and got that good rest. And I thought it was one o'clock, but I'm looking at the clock. It is, I can't, 334. Oh my God. Soon the sun will be up and curling to be free. Is she still on? Because I miss her, y'all. I'm going to catch it one day. And my scalp just itching, y'all, these hair pins. I think I'll take my hair down and just brush it. I know that's right. Y'all, I got heartburns from eating that fish. <clears throat> and I know better than going to sleep, eating fish, and taking a nap for about an hour before I lay down. She streams a lot. And yeah, I know, but it's been a wild movie buff since I've been over there to visit her probably almost about I want to say January, February. Yeah, I know like you did good plus. You got I know that A, yeah. Yeah. I yo, honey, it was hard. The struggle was real, y'all. 
Man, I thought about many times, like, man, damn this college algebra. <laughs> damn this trigonometry. But no, I, I, I that's what I felt like. Milk helps. You know what? I love milk. Yes, I do. But I think um the best thing for me, y'all, y'all can do whatever you want to, but I like to take Tums or Rolate or even a little bit of mustard, you know? Helps with mine because I know where mine's coming from. I'm normally working out, but my body's not used to be eating out so much fish. Let's just say I got greedy with it, y'all. I know I should turn the lights on, y'all, but the pup. Katie, she's uh, finally asleep. But yeah, and oh man. Yeah, milk does help. My grandfather. Used to have it, y'all. He used to drink. What was it? Is a milk, the milk of magnesium, milk of milk. Oh God, I could speak better English. I speak more Spanish than anything. But uh, milk of magnesium. Am I saying that milk of magnesium? No, my granddad. I think he was lactose intolerant. He used to have upset stomachs all the time. He had this thing called uh, what is it when you have not indigestion, but they call it something else? Oh God. I think about it. Um, not indigestion, but what do you call it? Acid reflux. Yeah. Acid reflux. And um, and right before he passed away, about four years ago, they had to do um, something. They put a scope in his mouth, and it went down and checked out, I guess, um, in his esophagus down to his stomach and they found out he had acid reflux and he also had something else called ulcer so he had to really really watch what he eat but my grandfather lived till he was 104 years old you know I mean it's a blessing to get that age you know he had acid reflux and and he died of natural causes so you know we all got to leave here in one day, but you know, if my grandfather lived to be a hundred, so ooh, that's awesome. I only pray that I, I, every day is a blessing, y'all. Every day, and every time I'm on and I see familiar face, I'm glad you're still with us, and I'm glad I'm still in your life. Don't y'all ever die on me, and I won't die on y'all. How about that? <laughs> but anyway, I know we all got to leave this world, but to be absent from the body is to be with God. We jump out of this body and jump into something else, honey. Because God's words say, God say nothing. He said, before my word passed away, heaven and earth will pass away. Heaven and earth is still here. You're still here. No, a man does not remember two things when he dies and when he's born. You don't. And we all, all I don't care if you're Christian, Muslim, Buddhism, or atheist. You know, when you jump out of this body, you're going to jump in something else. Hopefully it be whatever <laughs> you will hope to be, you know, what God re Re reincarnation i'm not buddhist or anything honey i'm a christian I'm a believer you know and i believe my that we all are created in the image of god it's up to us free will what you're going to choose but god said his word will his work his word will last forever now the good book says hell hades purgatory catholic depending on what you do because religion is religion but when you're spiritual just thank God for this day and whatever happens tomorrow, case of Ross and Ross is going to be, you know, I can, you know, we, it's our, uh, um, how do you say it? It's our amendment right to practice um, whatever it is that you believe when it comes to religion, you know, and I never knock anyone down for that because two things I don't like to talk about is politics and religion. That's a never ending story. I guess maybe I got it from being in the military for 37 years or whatever, but it is what it is. And y'all, I need I need to take this rag off my head. I ain't even looking presentable. I don't even feel right doing it, y'all. You know how you could be laying up in the baby so comfortable, but you're like, okay. <laughs> yeah, you want to look presentable some type of way. Oh Lord, I guess maybe this ass reflux will feel better. Now I'm talking about acid reflux. I don't even got it. But my heartburn will be better. 
I guess maybe I should be laying down and have on a full stomach. I got three people watching six thumbs up. Y'all, I need to go to sleep, but I can't sleep. See, my silly butt did this. After that fish, I had like three cups of coffee. Because <clears throat> I had quit drinking, y'all. I, 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 I'm a type of drunk. You don't better not give a bill to. I'm a sorry drunk. I ain't lying. Y'all know what? I could drink a shot right now of wine and be drunk in two minutes and be sick for it, honey. I am the wrong person to give alcohol, so I wish him money, honey. And then we had a party the other day. I had two doggone beers in the home over. And now I was in abandoned boys' the chat, told him that, what do you say about me? Uh, sorry, drunk. No, not a sorry, drunk, but thank you, backyard. It's growing out so much, honey. I'm ready to yank it off, but I ain't cutting my hair like that. Freedom, yes. Yes, movie buff. Yeah, milk does help. Yeah, that's right. Oh, yes. Wow. Freedom, yes. Thank you so much, um, Backyard. And y'all see that little gray hair up in there? Oh, my God. My birthday, July 7th, coming up, y'all. I promise y'all. I will be 44. With all that gray hair. <laughs> I didn't have no gray hair at all last year, y'all. I swear I did, but look at it. Ooh. I'm going to start calling myself Elvira. <laughs> the princess of darkness. Look at all them great streets. But I thank the good Lord for it. I do. I do. I promise y'all something. I learned something new today. You don't ever go to bed on a full stomach. You'll pay for a heartburn or something else. But that Captain D's fish, mm -mm. <laughs> from now on, y'all, I'll probably eat that like once a month or something. I'm supposed to be on a diet. I'm going to call a diet. I like to call it a lifestyle change. But I could stand to lose 10 or 15 pounds, even though I lost 10 already. Yeah, I, I'm a personal trainer. But, you know, the most hard-headed people in the world to lose weight is people that already know how to lose weight. <laughs> I swear it is. I spent 30 some years in the military of my young life, and I can train anybody. But when it comes to myself and I want to eat honey, ooh, somebody better call a dietitian for me because <laughs> I'm going to eat and then I lose the weight. Knowing the best thing in the world is to just, you know, live a good life, eat what's good and what you put in your body. Yeah. 75. Get out of here. Move it, book. Oh, you cannot be. What you mean? You're 35 years old. You look good to be 35, honey. Because you talk 75. If you're 75 years old, honey, I salute you. You look good. You're doing well. Pray for me, honey. Thank you, movie buff. 75 years old, baby. You know what? You're 75 years young. I, but you look good for your age, though. I'm looking at your little icon. Movie buff, I think I know who you really are. I want to say, if I had to go out and say it, <laughs> Lord have mercy. Ooh, I know your name on um, Kelly to be free. I do, I do. But movie buff, I've always told you don't look that old. You look like a you don't look a day over 36. Whatever you're doing, you're taking good care of yourself, and it shows. You look great. Yo, baby, I'm way over 50. You too bad. Yo, I beg yo, you get out of here. You guys are not the age y'all saying. No, according to your icons, y'all look like you're 35 and 40. I think I'm the oldest thing in this chat. Hell, I'm so old, I should be Methuselah. 44, y'all. I'm getting 44 my birthday. <laughs> and I look every age of it, don't I? All this gray hair. But I thank God for it, honey. But movie buff and backyard, y'all look great for y'all age. Yes, and okay, yes, that's a couple years back. That pig, a couple years back. Mm. If I had to guess your true age according to your picture, 
You look like you're 25, honey. And backyard, I can't believe that you're over age of 50, honey. Now, move above, y'all pulling my leg. If anybody's 50 should be me. I believe y'all like 25 and 30 years old. Well, if you are, you look great for your age. I salute y'all. Maybe I start, start, start taking some Geritol or some shit. <laughs> y'all making me feel old as fuck. <laughs> Excuse me for cussing. Back y'all, you ought to quit your mess. You know, goodwill, you ain't got me by no 10 years. I got you by 10 years. Last time I checked, I thought you was about 33 years old. Well, you look good, honey. You too, movie buff. I got three people in the building, six thumbs up. Thank you guys so much. What? I tell you what, y'all look awesome. Y'all look wonderful. So what do y'all do to, um, to stay so young looking? Can y'all give me some beauty tricks or to get some of these wrinkles and out, out of my forehead, honey? Because I promise you, my birthday, before my birthday, I'm going to start taking me some, what do you call that, one a day for 50 people and up? And Lord, let me tell y'all something. Hot flashes. Woo! <laughs> I wash my hair every day and I'm black and Italian. Now, what in the world do you know anybody wash their hair that's black and Italian every day and going through hot flashes? Honey, I don't care. I wash my hair two, three times a day and all this conditioner. And then my hair feel like it's going thin. I can't take it, y'all. I got my house right now on 65 degrees and I'm still hot. I've taken um, black tea to cut all the caffeine out of my life. Quit drinking. Hot flashes make you wish to God. Well, let's not go there because, you know, hot flashes is different for every woman. Mine are rel relentless. Um, I just started going through it last year. For fuck's sake. I don't know what nobody means when we can't have these estrogen shot, but I'm considering taking it. I hate going to church, y'all. And it's 50 degrees in church. And you're sweating like it's 90 degrees. I hate that. I'm sweating now. Y'all pray for me. Please do. See, I'm sweating already. These hot flashes are crazy, y'all. And I can't believe I got one diamond in my ear and the other one is in the bed somewhere, but that's cool. Honey, I'm going to tell you about my diet. I exercise, yeah. I run, I love to run, but I ain't been running like I supposed to. And I promise you, I ain't did a sit up in three months. <laughs> I haven't. Since this pandemic is over and I took the COVID-19 shot, y'all, I'm gonna tell you, I've been bullshitting, I ain't gonna lie to you. Don't go on day. Shoot, what else is there to do? You lock up, can't go nowhere. You eat, you do. And I don't blame anybody because you know what? Here it is. And I'm going to tell you another thing. I've been watching this. really pissed me off, y'all. Now, they got us locked up. You know, took the COVID-19. Don't matter what. You still got to wear the mask because other folks ain't took the shot. But let me tell you something. I was watching ABC News. No, it was NBC News. And they had this thing out where they was talking about, did the Chinese actually give us the COVID-19? I was like, what the fuck? And then they say, but what if somebody made a, what was it? They saying there was a, a, accusations that someone made up a COVID-19 to spread out towards us. I was like, oh my God, who could be so fucking cruel? I, they don't, I mean, the scientists don't even know where the hell this COVID-19 come from. I think it's been a bad plague. It's been out there for years with a new name. And then they're giving us this shit COVID-19 shot. God forbid, I wish the hell I never took the motherfucker. I'm going to tell you how I feel, y'all. If somebody in a doggone, um, oh, God, if I could want to say good, my Spanish. If somebody took the COVID-19 shot, mimic it to get everybody and all those people died, there's a special place in hell for them. This is the type of shit that make you go, mm, you know? I've been in the middle of 37 years. I have never seen no shit like this. But then again, people don't want to take the shot. I'm like this. You're going to be a fool not to take the shot. Take the damn shot. Because I'm telling you, a dead person ain't met shit to nobody except being dead. 
Now, I, you know, I think it's a damn shame if somebody would do something like that, you know, come up with a doggone COVID-19 or whatever, you know, it's just my opinion. But I was looking at the news and saw that. I'm like, that's some cold shit. But it is what it is. But, you know, you see things on the news. That shit make you go, mm, is that? What if it did that, you know? I would hate to think some mad scientist made up some kind of a virus that could take us out. That's some bullshit, yo. But anyway, I, I'm just saying, I had just seen that on the news. Yeah, that would be mass murder. But why would you do something so crazy, you know? I'm like this. First of all, if, why would you want to take somebody out? Man, that's just crazy. What goes around, comes back around at you. Now, God say this. If you touch his anointing, he's going to get you anyway. And I think that we all are created in the image of God. It's up to us to do right or it's up to us to do evil. Evil going to give you evil. Now, what fool want to take out masks? Honey, I'm going to tell you right now, I don't give a damn. You take everybody in the world, but you got to give account for what you've done. You're going to take us out, but I tell you what God got the final say. He's going to nuke your ass back seven times for that's just crazy. I'm just saying if somebody would do something that dumb. But I truly believe it is what it is. You know, the COVID-19 comes from China, from a fish called a molten and something, some kind of fish. I stopped eating fish like that, y'all. I used to love salmon patties and all that, and I still do. But until this pandemic is over, I ain't eating no more damn fish, I promise you. Not like that. I go to Captain D's or something like that, you know, but to go overseas and eat Chinese food, which I love, you know, I I won't do that until we find out where this uh, actual COVID-19 comes from. Even though I've got three shots already, but you got to lean on God's understanding. If it ain't good for your body, please don't put it in there. I mean, everybody got all these assumptions where the COVID-19 come from. I don't know where it's coming from, but I know I got my shots, but I ain't eat no more salmon or no more wild fish. So I forgot where the hell it came from. No matter what they say on the news, let's keep it one on honey. You got to protect yourself 24-7 right now by any means necessary. Yeah, better fried. You right, honey. But my problem is I need to stay away from them fried foods. <laughs> you know, but I'm going to say the most best thing. If I had to talk about any fish to fry, that'd be some good old catfish nuggets. Mm. I love me some catfish nuggets, but... And I'm fried foods. I got to stay away from that. And I don't eat too much meat, pork. No, I don't do that. But I love salmon patties. I really do. Salmons are good for you. I, bet, I guess the best my mom used to say, if you're going to get anything fresh, go to the supermarket or the meat market to get that. Don't be eating shit out of a can. Yeah, I miss everything. Y'all, I'm just talking, talking, talking. I book. Let me sit up and read. All right, now um, movie buff. You said I took the J and J shot. You took the J and J shot, really? Wow, how are you feeling? Because I would look at the news. A lot of people getting these blood clots and all that. And in, you know, Johnson Johnson. I love the baby oil and I love the baby lotion, but a lot of women are. Suing them because of the uh the token powder. So I didn't get the Johnson Johnson because of that. <coughs> if a woman gonna sue you because you, she got ovarian cancer because your token powder, your COVID 19 shot can kiss my ass. I looked at that persona, not saying they're that they're bad, but that wasn't right for me. So I took the Pfizer derm. But the Johnson Johnson shot one hit wonder. Some people react differently to the medication, we all know that. But as long as you got through it and you got your shot, you know, amen. Some people don't want to take it, amen. You know your body, and I feel like it's your right to whatever you want to get that shot or not, do you. But for people like me, myself, being in the military, well, you know, over 20-some years, guys, we got to take that shit. Don't they may one day say, we're going to cut your benefits off. And me going from what I was making in the military now to being on a fixed income, I'm taking my damn shot. <laughs> gotta pay the gotta pay the bills, yo. You know, and you know what? 
and if you never got a flu shot or whatever, I mean, that's up to you. They have got down to the science where if you don't take this this uh COVID-19 shot, blaza blaza, you can't make nobody do shit. That's their body. If they don't want to take it, so be it. And I think it's wrong for the government even to put it on us, retired military, or people that's been in the military, to give us an option. Somebody, if you ain't gonna take, we're gonna cut your benefits off. First thing we would have just said, cut your cut motherfuckers off, cut my benefits off. We still would got paid anyway. You know, but um, they're giving all these incentives, you know, for people to take their shots. And I think it's a great thing because, you know, people after the pandemic, they're still taking this unemployment. And I guess they're going to scratch it out to September, October. Now, oh, thank, no problem, over but that's what I love to do. You know, I love the United States of America. You know, this is land that I love. And defending it, anything from foreign domestics that's inside of my United States Army, United States of America, I love it. I did. I remember when I was born, and, uh, and I got grew up. You know, everybody in my military, people in my family are military. But there was this commercial talking about be all you can be, cause we need you in the army. I just knew they were talking to me, say Lord, I said I'm gonna be a soldier, daddy. He said, "Go on, girl." And my mom, you know, she's she military. My whole family's military, so yeah, I decided to go in the military because I knew that. That's what was going to be, you know, my 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 thing that was my purpose to do is just, you know, defend the Constitution, just be a part of the United States Army. And I did OK. You know, I, I made Sergeant Major, which is E9, hide on the list. Of training, but there's many more of us. And I'm sure that somebody in your family has been in the military, you know, because without you guys, we couldn't do what we do. And thank you. God. I taught school for 19 years. Thank you, movie pup. See, now you're doing something even better than a soul. You a teacher. There we go. I'm so proud of you. Elementary, you go, girl. Well, you go, young lady. Talking about you 50. 19 years. I'm gonna give you, I'll say I believe you about 38 years old, movie buff. You look so young and beautiful. But you said that you're your age, and I'm not gonna put it out there, but you look wonderful, marvelous for your age. And you know, I want to go back up that fried crust. Yeah, y'all yeah, need to put my glasses on. Oh, I think I got them somewhere. Hold on, y'all. Y'all probably gonna call me a little old Steve Urkel, but hey, I got my eyes fixed. I had that uh surgery, I had this eye surgery. To clean, I mean, to go around and, you know, right here to that laser eye surgery. And my eyes are still swollen, but I still now wear reading glasses. And I look a hot mess, y'all. Have you ever just laid down and look at yourself in the mirror like, damn, I'm getting old, Jesus. <laughs> oh, Lord. Man, but I thank God for my age. I really do. But these glasses make me look like a nerd. That's cool. I thank God for everything I got. Even the wrinkles in the gray hair, you know, because there's a lot of people who wish they could have made it to a little low 44, which I'm now grandma. I thank God for. I really do. My kids are both in the military. One is Ashley Nicole Little. She is uh, 34, and my baby girl, Shakia Williams, she is also in the military, and she's 28. So, and I have two grandkids named Ava and Aiden, who are five and seven. Oh, mine all broken up. I need to get some reading glasses. Honey, you know what? United States Army gave me these glasses. Y'all see that? And uh, my dog, China. If y'all look at dogs, you might see China with cheese. She took my dog on, and I can see everything now, y'all. I, I can see. I can see everything y'all writing. But uh, long story short, she took my other glasses, and she ate them all up. She did, because I guess she was teasing, but... Hey, five pair of glass cost me a hundred dollar pop. I mean, good glass. She ate all my glasses up. So I went and got my eyes checked. They gave me these right here and said, you know what, these should correct your problem. They gave me that laser eye surgery. But they are now reading glasses because I'm gonna tell you right now, I had bifocals on. That's from jumping out of airplanes, they had getting stigmatism, which is you know, you, you know, you can't see out of your provisional because you know, me, I was jumping out of planes for about 30 some years. 
being airborne aerosol. But uh, I got my eyes, eyes done, and it went in. It cleared up all the uh, the eye damage, and I could see good as a hawk. <laughs> but I got to let my eyes rest. Oh, I had laser eye surgery to see better distance. You can, honey. Not only can I see better distance, but I could see my original, vi my my look, excuse me, y'all. Provision, pro <laughs> tongue twister. Provisional sight is extraordinary, honey. I. I have not. Last time I was able to see this goods right before I joined the military. And it's a bad habit. I reach for my glasses all the time. Either my uh, optometrist said, you don't need to do that. Only wear your glasses when you're reading something close up. And But your eyes have got to get strong, you know, after the LASIK eye surgery. But how are your eyes now? They're telling me that, you know, after I have the, the LASIK eye surgery movie buff, that I have to go back in. Every one, I mean, I got to get a checkup in a year's time from now. Then after that, you know, get my eyes checked like is it every six months or every year or something like that. It was trying to tell me. But I'm glad I had it done. I would say I was scared at first. I, mean, I really was. Y'all be give me one minute. I got to go pay the water bill. That means I got to tinkle. I'll be right back, y'all. Oh, sweet Jesus. Hey, y'all, I'm back. Oh, God. I had to get the tums, y'all. My heart burns really, really bad. And look at Katie. Y'all see what she doing? Says she got my glasses. Oh. She's doing best. She's trying to get a toy. I bought her a new toy today. She's asleep. I guess that light is bright. The light is bright, so I'm gonna turn it down. She's trying to see. No, she actually is up. Look, there she go again, y'all. I'll be right back too. Okay, uh, backyard. Oh no, what's wrong, movie buff? Is it too bright in here? I'm just getting me a little thumbs, y'all. I got heartburns galore. I really do. Let me put my glasses back on. But anyway, y'all. Um. Oh, <laughs> you know she was laying on the glasses, but the light was so bright she was like putting a pause, like "Oh God!" Like mom, turn the lights off. Yeah, but she was on the glasses. But I realized that. But <laughs> I'm laughing at her, y'all. But anyway. Oh, that's why you said oh. Oh yeah, I got him in time, honey. But she was telling me the lights was bright too. Because you know, when you got a dim light and all of a sudden you turn them on, the puppy like, oh no, mama, turn that shit off. Well, let me quit cussing though. I feel better, y'all, since I took me a tongue. Tums. Y'all, excuse my appearance, honey, because um I didn't know it was so late. I'm ready to go in there and cook me some breakfast, but nah. I'm gonna give me um, two boiled eggs this morning. Taking out the egg yolk and eating some grapes. But one part of me wanna go in there, cook me some turkey bacon, some grits, cheese, and eggs, and four or five pancakes. <laughs> I said, Lord, before my birthday get here, I've got to get down to a size four. Katie. 
you want to go out. Okay, you want to go outside three times a week now? I have meals on wheels coming later. You do, girl. Mm. Three times a week now? That dog was out your glass. Okay, that's let me put these glasses on. Man. I have meals on wheels coming later. What kind of meal you got on wheels, um, movie buff? I'm sure it's going to be good, whatever you decide to do. Decide to eat. Stop it, Katie. I gave Katie some, um, I gave Katie some pedigree treats. And y'all know this little beautiful creature of mine took the dog on treat in there and she dug in my leather chair and put the dog on treat in there and took her nose and tried to cover it up in a leather chair. <laughs> I've never seen anything like that, but I realized Katie's just getting to her into her um puppy ways. I'm sitting there playing while here she go, y'all. Yeah, licking her hand. Ew. Don't nobody want to kiss that nasty monkey gear. Quit it, quit it. She wanna play, but she needs to get a rest though. I love her so much. She wanna go outside, but I have to watch her though because she got to the point where she liked to run in the road out the trucks. And uh my landscaper came and uh she cut up her uh timeout rope in half. So I have to gotta go to the store this morning and get her another one. I don't want to lock it because, you know, she's a... You got three cats. Wow. Oh, really? You know, I'm not really a cat person. I love them. Don't get me wrong because my daughters, they love cats. And I got to stop them scratching too because she just got bit by a fire ants today. You know, she's just trying to scratch. I guess it's still itching. So I put uh, this dog stuff on her and it stores it to soothe her skin. I'm just looking at her, just doing doggy stuff. See? Damn, that makes me think. Y'all see her? Yeah. Three cats. Wow, what's their names, movie buff? My friend Katie, Katie Rubel, y'all might know her as Miss Fucking Wonderful. She got a cat named uh, Drama Titten. Drama Titten. <laughs> oh, black cat. Josephina Robin. And what's the other cat name? You said three. Josephina Robin. We one cat moonlight. That's bigger than our dogs. Wow. Really? And pumpkin. Yay. You know, I'm not a cat person. My kids, they love cats. My daughter, she has a, a great cat. And I call her Gracie, but she called it Secret. Yeah. And I said, Kiki, I said, why would you name your cat Secret? Mom, it's just like the deal that I put on. Ain't nobody named self Secret. I was like, what in the hell? <laughs> My daughter named her cat after some deal or Secret. What kind of name? I will say the cat is a beautiful cat. She got green eyes. I know, right, movie book? She got green eyes and she's beautiful. She gray, so I also call her Gray for Gracie. My daughter said, No, mom, that's not her name. Her name is Secret. <laughs> yeah, but I seen Katie's cat. Yeah, Drama Titten. Then she got, what she call her? Uh, not Boomba. I love Boomba. She's a, um, one of Katie's mods. And I said, Boomba. But she called her cat Bob Nisky Bob. I don't know, but I like Baby Jacks and I like a uh, Royal. Ooh. And then she got another another one. Um, Sophia. Why you feel sorry for Katie? Is everything okay with Katie? The last time I really talked to Katie, she was just coming back off her. Um, no, she was put in a swimming pool. 
and her dad. Her poor Agnes, she had that on her face a so bit. Yeah, um, you know, is that rosacea? Not a rosacea, but I had a friend who had that same condition, and she went to the dermatologist, whatever. She was in a car accident. Some of this glass got in her face, and uh, she went to the dermatologist, military, and it actually came from um, an IED blowing up on her, and some of the shells got on her skin. And she go to the dermatologist trying to figure out what the problem was, but the doctor, was, the dermatologist, take basically wasting, I mean, wasting her, taking her money for no reason. So when we got back to the states, this happened about four years ago, guys, and we came back to the states from Europe. She went to her Louisiana dermatologist, was like, "What happened to your face?" And she told him exactly what happened. She's like, "I got blowed up in Iraq." He said, "Well, honey, you don't need no medicine. You need a skin drill." I was like, what in the world? So what happened was she saved all this money to go get this skin drop done because they was going to cut some out of her face. But then again, she got a second opinion from some top dermatologist in the army. He said, honey, the only thing you got to do is go get this stuff called, what is it called? When you just put some of this stuff and you just uh, take the skin, the thing, it rotates around your face. It's like it, you uh, exfoliating your skin. But it's like some kind of cream they put on it. You can have the surgery done. It's going to cost about $1,500 plus the time in the hospital, about $6,000. But over 30 days, you put this stuff on your face and you just take this thing and it's supposed to exfoliate your skin. But what it does is take the skin inside your cells and rejuvenate the cells that were damaged. I don't know what to call it. I mean, she had that done. And within about six months, honey, all that stuff was gone. And all that, uh, and then they gave her some kind of medicine it's supposed to draw all the um, what do you call it? When you you got iron in your skin, but you take this solution, you, you got even got this foot thing for it. But the doctor was giving her some kind of antibiotic, would take some of that scrap iron out of her system. In about a year's time, she was taking that and some special vitamins. Her skin looked good as new. I don't know the proper terminology for it, guys. I'm not a dermatologist or a skin consultant when it comes to things like that. But I, I know the doctor was giving her some type of stuff on her face and she was exfoliating her skin with some type of serum and the money she was going to pay for it didn't cost that much because she had scrap metal up under her skin. So the, the dermatologist was taking her money when she just needed to have some type of two. I don't know what you call it. Lord, if I think about it, I would give you the right terminology tonight, right name for that surgery. But all this is taking a layer of the skin and allowing it to heal properly through vitamin C and all the other stuff. Oh, man. Well, you know what, though? Her acne, she had that her face. Oh, wow. And when Katie lost all that weight and needs the skin tighten, Katie is so... Yeah, I know. I love Katie. You know, I do. You know, I've probably been watching Katie off and on. I'm going to tell you, I'm Steven, the Gonzalez. I remember the time when hell, Katie moved in with Steven. I remember the Christmas party about three years ago. I've been watching Katie for so long. And my movie, Bob, you probably been watching as long as I had. But Katie, you know what? She does so much. And she's so hard on herself. I applaud her for just, she's a YouTube guru. Hell, she got 50K, motherfuckers. <laughs> Me and her did this thing called hashtag Big Pick. I ain't going to go there. We we did a, yeah. <laughs> I love Katie. I, what can I say? I love, I just love Katie Roby. She is awesome. She take her, her dad, DZ, um, her mom, Lana, Meredith, you know, she's, she's an awesome person. And she has taught me a lot about YouTube, you know, she really has. And I'm so proud of her. You know, I remember when she was moving to her first house out to Steve, you know, she was like, oh my God, I got to paint this motherfucker, that type of shit. But look at her now. She done moved her dad out there and took care of Lana. She's doing great things. We always scared when she got on that fucking bike. 
We know when her and Steven went somewhere the 4th of July last year. Was it Delphi murder case or something, whatever, last year. And look at her now, man. And Doug, you know what? Doug at first, she's cool, but this is my opinion. And I know she's going to slap me for saying, I like Steven. Steven, I love Steven when he was treating her right. How about that? Because, I, you know, we all been hurt. And I can even look at Ronnie Myers, she's my ex-boyfriend who's been 12 years. You know, it takes a lot to love somebody. It does. But it takes a true person like Katie to hold on to something that she loves so much but had to let it go because of betrayal. Because I don't know what goes behind closed doors. But I know when Steve and, and Katie get together, you can see the love for them in the, in the air. And now... She had to cut off all her ties and, you know, learn how to stand on her own. And I'm so proud of her. I really am. Les is back now. What? Get out of here. She, swear to God, movie buff. Les, no, she back with, well, I don't know what to say about that. Is she happy? I'm happy for her, Katie. That's all I can say, honey. I love her. I, you know? I'm like this. Whatever makes you happy, do it. But Lance is back. Are we talking about the same one? Move it, bub. I'm going to say one thing. Is that the one that busts out the headlights? I ain't going to do that. I love her so much, man. What? Lord, I hope Katie go live soon. I can get on Facebook, but you know what? I ain't got nothing to say. As long as she happy, just back on YouTube. Oh, okay. Nope. Oh, I see what you're saying. Well, I just wish her happiness, you know. I hope she find the true love that her heart desires, whoever that may be, you know. But I'm proud of her, though, no matter despite who she's talking to. I'm just a proud of her accomplishments, you know. Cause I am. Why I just say hi sometimes. Why I just say hi. Oh, wait, I move it, but I'm there whenever I can. Because I'm gonna tell you one thing about Katie, honey. She keep you entertained. Entertained, she does. That Katie Rob, I'd rather watch her any damn day than TT. I'm just saying. That's the difference between TT. And Katie, there's a difference between Sable and Katie. There's a difference between Weedy Widow, and I love all of them. But well, let's say this: I don't love every damn body like that. She cooks a lot too. Yeah, she, I love the way she cooks. But uh, that damn well, you know, I'm gonna I'm gonna say three things: true nutrition. I'm not gonna say nothing bad bad about her. But hell, if Sean hit on her, look at her now. She happy. See, these you people have been on YouTube 10, 20 years, or Dr. Phil or whatever. You know, we know behind the scenes that entertainment is what it is. Even sometimes Dr. Phil will pay people to say the right things or the wrong things to give movie ratings. But when it comes to YouTube and getting up in all the people's business or whatever, at the end of the day, it's all about entertainment. That's what it really is all about when you look at their persona and their perspective. But true Patricia, I mean, she's hurt a lot of people. Yes, she has. But what goes around, come around. Who would ever thought the same bitch that got on Dr. Fields, the same man, same woman, fucking her man today? Boy, this is cold-hearted people, boy. I don't try to get in all that drama, though. I just appreciate a person for where they come from because, you know, who am I to judge anybody? I mean, I'm not perfect. I've had bad times and good times but i'm not the type of person to put all my business for the world to see but you gotta give them credit for doing that for putting their shit out out there in the streets and people done made a mockery of her name and she done hurt people you know but at the end of the day true patricia i look at it like this i mean she's not my friend or has she ever done anything for me to say she's a phenomenal woman but i will say she's a survivor because According to the YouTube streets, Sean, her husband, used to beat on her. 
<laughs> you want to believe that shit? Let me quit. You're a successful woman. That counts so much, Stacey, and great family. That's, thank you so much, movie buff. Thank you. And you know what? You made me correct myself. I shouldn't have the right to talk about no one. You're right. To all those people out there on YouTube, I just wish them success, you know? I, I, I don't want to start talking about it, and I'm not going to do that. Who am I to judge? I'm not going to do that. If anybody else should judge, anybody should be myself. Thank you for moving up for putting me back in perspective. It's a, um, what are you doing? And I just gave her a bath, Katie a bath about three hours ago. Now she's dry. Backyard life, are you still here, honey? Lord, I'm trying to stick, keep my eyes up. I'm about to put her ass outside. She keep digging. Look, I gave her a treat, right? And the only thing she's doing right now, she's gone. Oh, okay. She got to get rest because I didn't know it was just like myself. I gave her a treat, Katie. And now she's digging. And I just bought my mask. She's trying to dig a damn hole and bury her treat. So I got to keep playing with her and taking it back. Oh, what's up, backyard? Hey, what time y'all going to bed this morning? <laughs> yep. Yeah, oh, I'm glad. Hey, y'all. I'm stop it, Katie. Quit it, quit it, quit it. Katie, quit. Yeah, she keep digging up, trying to damn bury her treats in my bed. Katie turned six months. In a couple days. I'm glad you're here, honey. Y'all need to. I got two people in both six thumbs up. Thank y'all so much. But uh, y'all know what time it is. It's 423. I'll sleep till meals on wheels come at 1130. Movie buff, you still didn't tell it. What's meals on wheels? Is that when somebody bring you some food around at a job? Meals on wheels when I was in the military be like a good truck showing up with some hot coffee and some sandwiches <laughs> and yeah i've been in the military since i was 16 years old so that lets you know my life ain't nothing but a military legacy and my e it was the ebt card atm card oh oh ebt ebt what's the ebt card Girl, these puppies going to be in there. I'm, you know what, backyard? I want to put Katie outside because I'm sleepy too. And Schwarzenegger's come too. What's? And shop Schwarzenegger's come too. Food stamp card. Uh oh, is that what they call them? EBC cards. Oh, you got to give me perspective because I remember the last time I seen a food stamp when I was a little girl. When my uncle had these big old things that look like damn fake money. <laughs> and you go in the store and you go in there and buy two dollars worth of bologna. <laughs> and y'all know I'm I'm young, hell. A food delivery system for nice food. Oh, that's nice. Okay, good night. See ya next time. Nice meeting you. You see, I'm sorry, baby. She says, okay, back your life says, okay, good night. See you next time. Nice meeting by you, movie buff. You both stay blessed, not stressed. Okay, thank you, backyard. Thank you, backyard, honey. Thank you. And uh, movie buff, I love y'all too. You know, I thank you guys because love y'all so much for being up with me. And and backyard, I got to thank you for that raid, that crazy ass raid a few minutes ago. But y'all, I've been on an hour and forty five minutes. Um, I'm going to get ready to lay down and get me some sleep, y'all, because uh, I want to get up and do a, a, a upload. And then uh, I want to check out a couple lives and they being Monday. Hopefully Katie comes on today. And I got to work on um, another paper uh, for another class that's supposed to start up. You know, at midterms, I got that A. 
But honey, I got another class to end this week and I got to write a paper. So I want to get a little bit of rest because um, I'm a little tired and I need to put Katie outside as well. But I thank y'all guys for being up with me because you guys know that uh, not too long ago, me and my boyfriend broke up after 12 years and sometimes I wake up crying because I'm um, trying not to be lonely, but sometimes I do get lonely. And uh, you got to be careful, you know, who you talk to. Yes, and I'll watch for Carol. Yeah, tell Carol and I say what's up for me, okay, movie buff. I still love her. Um, her and I got some things we need to talk about because of misunderstanding when it comes to Mama Ricky and Kelly Huff, that type of thing. Me too. I still, I get sad. Yeah, me too. Yeah, but you know, life goes on, you know. Um, but don't, if God, God don't put no more on you can bear and you know what? We all got to go through heartbreaks, you know. But anyway, guys, I'm going to go and uh, put it outside. And I thank you guys for staying up with me. I'm back here. I love you. And movie buff, you know, I'm going to do something. Because I love the way when you look in blue, you are now a moderator, movie buff. You and backyard. Um, thank you all so much. It means a lot to me when I got two people who come up in here and, uh, you know, spend time with me because you could be doing anything, but you decided to spend some of your valuable time with me and I appreciate it. So, um, movie buff, I thank you for being here and, uh, thank you all. You guys have a, a wonderful, beautiful manic Monday and, uh, yeah, you're a moderator, honey. So, uh, same time bat channel. I don't know when I'm going to be on y'all, but y'all know I'm going to be going a little bit more live more often cooking, this being me, Carolina Diamond, but shoot, y'all better let me get some rest because, <laughs> whoo, the struggle is real, honey. I got to get that sleep. You feel me? Peace, y'all. Much love. Salute. Y'all have a blessed day. And I got to put this dog outside. Love y'all. Come on, Katie.